Yeah, it's following along, man. So, we are at one of my favorite locations for testing active track and this time we'll put it into sport mode to test the maximum capabilities just be careful when doing experiments like this because when you're using the drone in sport mode the full 360 obstacle avoidance is no longer available so that's of course something that we need to take care of so let's start by positioning the drone in a height where we know we won't run into problems like 40 meters and because we have the medium telephoto lens we can go into a factor three that will make everything look so much more exciting. And because I don't have a suction cup for the camera today, it, <laughs> I will put you down here um, when I start the test. So, so right now we have uh, the drone sitting in basically in spotlight mode. So we can move it around, around like we want to. Yeah. So now we're ready. Let's press record and see what happens. So now tracks, let's throw it into sport mode. So we're doing 40 kilometers an hour. It's still keeping up very nicely. If I can go to 50. And still keeping up at 50. And remember, there's absolutely no protection as it is right now. I want to make sure that it stays on the left side of the drone. No, the left side of the car when we are flying back here. Still keeping up. Let me just go slowly. 40 kilometers. Yeah. And then the last part, when we get rid of the houses, get past the houses here, we can push it. We are allowed to ride 50 here. Let's see. <laughs> it's following along, man. So, <laughs> when I pushed it beyond 50, we lost it. Let's just do one more attempt. So let's make it a little bit more exciting. So, we're gonna take it so it's in this position. And I know there's nothing on the road here in front of me. It is a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> we still have this separation uh, with 50 meters that we need to make sure this is what happens if the separation gets more than 50 meters it will break off and it will simply just hover so let's try this again select the car select the car I did that I want it on the left side here yeah go so we're ready no cars Oh, we need some video. Moving there. So, it just needs a little time to get started. Then we need to... So, we lost. It lost us. <laughs> so, let's just let it follow along from behind. Like this, boom, boom, it a little bit closer here. So, active track, maybe a little bit from the left here. Let's do that. So, put this one down. So, now it's following along. We're doing 50. 60 I'm not allowed to go more faster than 60 yeah okay so it we lose it around 60 all right back safe on the ground so that worked out pretty well it's a nifty really really fast drone I would say 
it's not very uh, convenient to fly around uh, in these kinds of speeds <laughs> with around 60 kilometers an hour but it is possible as you can see from this experiment uh, that the drone can track with both uh, lenses in 4k 30 uh, up to almost 60 kilometers an hour so that is pretty impressive but if you of course are going to push it into sport mode like i just did make sure that there are no obstacles around that the drone can collide with because if there is it will go really wrong still not convinced to get this drone this is not my task to convince you you have to judge that by yourself but i have made a ton of videos around this drone that will make you uh, do this assessment and uh, i've collected everything into a playlist that you can access through this card so i hope you liked this video if you did then feel free to give it a like if you didn't like it feel free to press the dislike button twice thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you around